few days since mine and Tim had moved into their new house. Mine had busy chores of making it feel like home, setting up the rooms and arranging everything just the way she liked. Now Tim arrived home stepping through the door with a faint ladder of dishes in the kitchen. He frowned realizing that mine was likely working again. He strode into the kitchen leaning against the doorway, watching as mine moved around, her hair tied up in a messy bun, sleeves rolled up and a focused expression on her face as she chopped vegetables. The sight was endearing but his disapproval was clear. Mine, he called out gently, making her jump in surprise. You're home? Tim sighed, shaking his head as he walked over, taking the knife from her hand and setting it aside. What did I say about working? He asked his tone frame was soft, as if he didn't want to scold her but couldn't ignore it either. I was just... She began but he cut her off. You don't need to do this. We have mates for a reason. You can't keep wearing yourself out like this. He took her by the hand, gently leading her out of the kitchen. But I like to cook. Besides, I'm not used to having people do things for me. If you really want to cook, you can do it on weekends. That's it. No more arguments about it. Maya looked up at him, her lips turning into a soft smile. Okay, fine. Only on weekends. She agreed. Then returned her smile, his fingers still laced with hers as they settled down on the couch. Good. He carries her hair. Well, why are you not going to the university? Is it because of Ruben? He asked quietly. Mine bit her lip, her eyes dropping to her lap as she nodded slowly. I don't know how to face him. I have hurt him. Tim's heart ached seeing her so conflicted. He gently cupped her chin, lifting her gaze to meet his. You didn't hurt him. Ruben will understand eventually. It will take time, but he will. You can't put your life on hold because of this. Mine's eyes filled with uncertainty, but then steady gaze and the warmth of his touch calmed her. How do you know? She whispered. He leaned a little closer, his voice dropped into a soft murmur. Because I'm by your side now. Whatever happens, we'll deal with it together. You're not alone in this. Her heart fluttered at his words, the sincerity in his voice making her feel a sense of security she hadn't felt in a long time. She smiled gratefully, her fingers tightened around his. Thank you, Tim. He smiled back, his thumb brushing softly against her cheek as he brought her hand to his lips, pressing a soft kiss on it. You don't need to thank me. He said his voice warm and comforting. Mine's hand reached up to brush a stray lock of hair from his forehead and laid his head on her lap, letting out an exhausted sigh. I have been thinking I want to make our marriage official. He said with closed eyes, still holding her hand. When blinked in surprise, her heart skipping a bit. Official, she repeated. He nodded, caressing her hand gently. I talked to my father. I want us to have a reception by the end of this month. To let everyone know that you are my wife. Mine's eyes widened slightly, her heart racing at the thought. A reception, she echoed, still processing the idea. Yeah, I want the world to know you are mine. Her breath caught in her throat with the intensity in his voice, her heart swelling with emotion. The way he said it with such conviction made her feel cherished in a way she hadn't expected. She smiled softly and pressed her lips on his closed eyes. Okay, if that's what you want, then okay. She whispered her voice soft but full of emotion. It's what I want and I promise I'll make this right for both of us. He murmured softly and opened his eyes, staring at her with affection. His eyes straight and pulled her closer, pressing a soft kiss to her forehead. Thanks, Kim. Why am I in the middle of rummaging through her wardrobe, searching for something when she suddenly froze? Her eyes widened in disbelief as she noticed the two rows of new clothes, luxurious bags, shining jewelry and sleek accessories that were neatly hung and placed inside. She blinked confused because she knew she hadn't bought any of this. Her old belongings were nowhere to be found, replaced by these high-end items. She reached out gently touching the soft fabric of her dress, still in awe, when a familiar voice broke her trance. 
looking for something. A smooth voice called out from behind. Wine spun around just as they stood into the room, holding a small box in his hands. Before she could ask him anything, he took her arm and gently guided her to the bed, sitting her down with a smile that barely concealed his excitement. Did you, did you replace all my things? She asked, still trying to wrap her mind around the sight in her wardrobe. He nodded casually his green white name. I did, but that's not the best part of all this. While I looked down at the box, her curiosity piped. With trembling fingers, she untied the ribbon and lifted the lid. Her breath caught in her throat when she saw what was inside. The latest iPhone. Her eyes widened in astonishment. Oh my god, they only got me the pink one. I have always wanted this. She gasped, staring at the phone in disbelief. Her voice trailed off filled with joy and gratitude as she gently picked up the phone, turning it in her hands. As if she couldn't believe it was real. I can't believe you bought this for me. Him watching her with a fond smile leaned in slightly. I knew you'd love it. I wanted to surprise you and see you happy. Miles heart fluttered and she quickly set the phone aside, looking up at him with a smile that was both tender and full of gratitude. Thank you, I really wanted to buy it, but this is just perfect. She moved closer, her arms slipping around his shoulders. Then pulled her even closer, gently. Her heart skipped a beat. The warmth of his body against hers, making her pulse quicken. I'm glad you like this. He murmured, his lips pressing lightly against her temple as he spoke. They remained still in a comfortable silence, feeling each other's warmth. My snuggled into his neck, inhaling his cold. Him plopped on the bed along with her above him. Him, he hummed. Your mom came this morning. She leaned back slightly and locked her eyes on his serious expression. Why? She came to see you, but you weren't there, so she met me and apologized to me. You know, I'm, when I think about the abuse, I feel angry at you for enduring it and not speaking for yourself. She rested her chin on his chest. It's not like she used to torture me every day, but in a month. I didn't just endure it. I did fight back. He rolled his eyes, just like you did at that party, right? No, that was because I didn't want to make a scene in front of everyone. Drop the topic of wine. He muttered, closing his eyes, his fingers gently ran through her hair as he kissed the top of her head. By the way, Rupin is coming over. He came to my office to take the address. She looked at him in surprise and blinked in surprise. What, Ruben? Yes, he is mad at you for not coming to university. Apparently, he has been sulking about it. He said with a smile, wine grown softly, covering her face with her hands. He is a wise guy, you don't have to worry. He gently pulled her hands away. She nodded with a smile, then leaned and kissed her forehead. Reception day. The night of their reception was nothing short of magical. I stood at the entrance of the grand hall with him by her side. Her heart fluttering as she took in the breathtaking scene before her. Everything about the night screamed perfection, just as she had always dreamed. The glittering challengers, the soft warm glows of candles lining the tables, the delicate floral arrangements of white lilies and roses. It was exactly how she had imagined it. Her eyes welled up slightly as she stared at him. He tightened his grip around her wrist. Like what you see. He leaned closer to her ear and said with a smile. One smile, her heart fluttering. Thank you for everything. It's perfect. She whispered. Don't thank me. He shook his head. I wanted the night to be exactly how you dreamed it would be. He kissed her temple and began walking ahead. You are spoiled with him. That's what I am supposed to do. He said no, Sheridan. Before Wine could respond, they were approached by Mr. Kim, who smiled warmly at Wine. His eyes were full of pride as he pulled her into a fatherly embrace. You look beautiful tonight, Wine, he said softly. Thank you, Dad. She replied, hugging him back. As they parted, Mrs. Kim stepped forward, her expression more hesitant, 
Wayne praised herself and showed off what to expect from Mrs. Kim. Surprised by her going head slightly. Wayne, I owe you an apology. I have been unfair to you and I'm truly sorry for the way I treated you before. Wayne then taken aback by the unexpected apology in front of everyone. She hesitated for a moment before offering Mrs. Kim a small forgiving smile. I appreciate you saying that. Let's move forward, Pos. Let's move forward, positively from here. Mrs. Kim's eyes softened, and with a nod, she stepped back a long while and them to continue their night. Are you happy? He asked quietly. We are happy. She mumbled, leaning on his arm. The smile never left her lips. He nodded with a smile when they caught the sight of Ruben approaching them. Ruben smiled as he reached them, his eyes flickering between wine and him. Congratulations, wine, you look stunning. He will eyes off. Himself placing his hand over Ruben's eyes. Hey, I'm not evil. He moved away with him's hand and said, shaking his head. Wine kicking while the him rolled his eyes holding her. The exchange of few pleasantries. Ruben left to mingle with the other guests. He introduced her to his friends and colleagues. Mr. and Mrs. Kim took away wine to introduce her to their friends. After a long time, Tim guided her towards the dance floor. His hands still firmly around her waist. Tim pulled her into his arms, spinning her gently as they began to dance. His hand rested on the small of her back, holding her securely, while his other hand intertwined with hers, bringing it to his chest. You look beautiful tonight. Tim murmured his voice low and intimate as he leaned closer to her. His breath pressed against her. Yes, and then she was down her spine. Ryan blessed her heart racing. He said that already. She has got back. I mean it every time. He replied, his gaze intense as his eyes locked onto hers. Ryan felt her heart swell with emotion, her chest tightening as she looked up at him. I still can't believe all of this. It's everything I have ever dreamed of. You have given me more than I could have ever asked for. His eyes softened and he leaned down, brushing his lips slightly against her forehead. I will always give you everything. You are my wife, my everything. She felt a tear slip down her cheek, where it was one of happiness. Then he stepped away and pulled her into a hug while 